Good morning. It's not morning. <laughs> oh, that's just my usual phrase. What is it? Uh, it is 2.51. 2.51. I've been journaling all morning because uh, you guys don't need to know about this, but I... I <laughs> Normally I journal every day. I write down what happened every day. A journal that has date. <laughs> what is happening? What? Okay. Where am I? What? What? Hi guys. It's afternoon. It is 2.52 probably by now. Normally I write down what happens every day and I've been really lax on it for like two weeks and I had to catch up. So I, it took a long, 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 long time and then I had lunch and then you don't need to know any of this. But today's video is going to be a little bit of a van makeover. Uh, you might have seen in the last video that I had some uh, stuff up in my front seat. I went on a little splurge at the Target. I also went to Lowe's and got random things, a little bit of hardware things and some things and some other things. And we're just, there's a lot of things that I've been meaning to get to, to update the van, not like anything drastic, but it will change some of the like logistical things in here for me. It's just a bunch of stuff that I've been meaning to get to. So that's what we're doing today. Hope you like it. The first sort of business is my banana hook. It's very important, very under underrated. I bought these bananas. They don't fit on my banana hook. They're too big. This banana hook <laughs> has been here for like three years. I bought a bigger, bigger version. This is exciting stuff, guys. I can't believe you're here. I'm pretty pumped about this. It's been three years in the making. You're witnessing a historical moment. Look at them. That's so big. Can't believe it took me this long. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, look at them. No, don't rip the banana. Next thing, this is a, a screen. This thing pops up so that at night when it's hot, I can open it. But this screen, I just shove it in there. It gets stuck when it gets hot. So, because it expands. I just needed like something to put on it so that I could grab it to pull it down instead of like using my fingers to slide it out. But anyway, I found these rope cleats and I'm gonna put them on the edges cool look at that oh that's gonna be good exciting stuff let's see if it works oh that's gonna be really nice i can't believe i lived without that for three years all right two of the hardest hardest most exciting tasks are complete really feeling good we're feeling good. Lots of screwing. Next one is this. I should have done this. Again, three years ago when I made the van. I didn't though. This door and the doors in the back. When they're open and it rains, they get wet. I'm going to seal them. Probably too late. <laughs> We're gonna do it anyway. Okay, I finished the uh, I finished the wood staining and I have to pee so bad. So I'm gonna go and I think it's gonna rain. So I'm gonna probably hold off on filming any more projects until tomorrow because it might rain. <laughs> Hello friends. Welcome back to Hannah's, Hannah's show where she just does stuff. <laughs> Today I'm going to be ripping apart my dashboard for you. Not for you, but for me, actually. Because my air, like the, the little knob that says high, low for fan, 
blowage likes to burn out, like literally melt into my car. Uh, so it stops working, which I was gonna fix when it was freezing cold and I was living in freezing cold temperatures and I couldn't get the hot air to blow, but I just suffered. I'm finally gonna just get it done. I actually have ripped my dashboard apart many times. This is not anything new. Um, I have a video way, way, way back on my channel where I install my car stereo. So if you want to learn how to do that, go back and look at that and very easy. So I'm just going to take this shit off. Um, most cars have like some screws holding this in place. I don't think mine does. Just using my flathead screwdriver to pull this right on off. I can't quite remember what I do now. Um, is this not the cutest little socket head you've ever seen? <laughs> this is adorable. What is, like, so cute. If you look in here, you can see that it's melty. There we go. Jesus. So here's what this is looking like. It's very melted. This is also very melted. Mike came in clutch with the part. He also gave me some grease because he thinks that it must be arcing, which is why it's melting. <laughs> Yikes. Old one, new one. Apparently I put some grease into the part that's in there before I stick this new one in and it helps keep the connection from arcing, keeping the something from arcing. I don't know. I just know that it needs to get replaced. <laughs> Not tell me how much to put in there, but you know, that seems fine. How much lube is too much lube? feels good. Also, I'm like wandering around this parking lot in this dress that looks like a little cottage fairy. But in my head, I have my band by D12 just on a loop. The vibe is very strange. Okay, I recognize it looks like I'm in the same place, but I actually just found a park. I've been meaning to do some things in the van, so I'm gonna just flip some things around, change things up, get some to-do list stuff checked off. That is all. Uh, it's been a while since I've filmed. You don't know this, but I know this <laughs> because this is going in a video that I started filming a million weeks ago um, about renovating the van and um, it's been a while. It's hot as balls today. It's hot as bananas today. I've been putting off this project for so long, so I'm just gonna get it done, but my counters, I never sealed the grout. Also excuse my sweaty, sweaty face, but I never sealed the grout. 
Is that what it's called? Grout? Yeah. I, it's been three years. As with every single project I've done in this van, I never did it. I never sealed it, so every time I've spilled, things have stained the grout. I don't know if these two things are the same thing, but I bought Grout Refresh in white. I think that has a sealant in it, but I also bought Grout Sealer just in case. So I'm gonna do the whitening stuff and then I'm gonna do the sealer. You can do this on any grout. <laughs> I've changed black grout to white grout. It works. If you uh, are interested in some DIY projects to like whiten up your bathroom tiles, you know, there you go. I'm gonna do that today and finally get it done so that my counters don't feel absolutely disgusting any longer. Reuse your plastic bag. Woo! Everything is just Velcro in my life. That's how everything stays on the counters. No! Fuck, I miss projects. Don't worry guys, I'll go home soon. <laughs> I'm getting really antsy to do big projects. This shit's so easy. <laughs> Why did it take me three years? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna put this stuff on. I'm not doing it correctly. That's it. That's all I had to say. I can't open it. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's too hot. Whoa! It's very liquidy. Good morning. It is bright and sunny and beautiful. I'm awake and I just made coffee and because of me, because me, because who I am, I have a lot of thrifted clothes that don't fit me. I've been sewing, like hand sewing. Like I've got a needle and thread and this is embroidery floss. It's not meant to be whatever. Anyway, I've been sewing and I've been fixing things to be my size. I just finished this skirt. It's a size large, but I made it fit to me. I have a lot of other things. It's like one of my to-do list things that I'm trying to get done. Next we've got this skirt. A traditional sign of respect when mourning the dead. All I need is a single blood regression. I remain still. Jules Ember, I don't suppose? I'm 
What's up, you ding-dongs? One last project. Yeah, I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but my van is, is getting rusty, which is sad. The real, the ru the real rust pop, pop, blah, the real rust problems <laughs> are going to have to be taken care of once I get home. That's gonna happen later. But my bumpers are a rusty mess, so we're gonna take care of those. I have like this black rust killer spray paint stuff, and that's what is happening. That shit. We're gonna fix that. paint like the this gray and also maybe the rusty wheel hubcap things. There's just spray paint the whole van black. Look at the difference though. This thing is like practically red. Honestly, I wasn't even sure I wanted to do this project and now I'm Googling where a Lowe's is so that I can get more paint and more tape and I'm gonna go ham and get all of everything. Collective. Okay, ba babes, we're going to Lowe's. Okay, I just had to walk. has to open crinkly food as I start talking. I'm pretty sure my face is covered in soot. Anyway, uh, I had to just walk back and forth to the bathroom to fill my water containers and stuff, and every single time I was just checking out my van. Walter is looking sexy as hell. I'm so pumped to turn everything else black. That's a stale chip. We're getting sexy. This is a terrible chip. It's really chewy. Okay. If I go alone, I'm not gonna make it very far. Happy for the vibe, and I'm gonna be a bride. What could I say to smile? It feels like you don't care. Why don't you recognize me? Okay, well, I'm a mess.
mess. I got the goods. It looks better than that. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. It'll be fine. Wow. morning and also goodbye <laughs> this is the end of the video i slept here last night and uh listen <laughs> walter looks great these tires look real nice if only i had not accidentally bought duct tape instead of painter's tape i could have uh done the other side as well for some reason they decided to make blue duct tape and so I bought it mistakenly thinking it was painter's tape. So right now we've got this nice illusion of gray tires versus black tires on the other side. Feels like an emperor's new clothes situation. That's the wrong analogy. That's about a naked king. This is devolving quickly. But anyway, Walter looks great. Things are good. Life is good. <laughs> you look good, Walt. That is all. That is this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really felt good to get all of these products done and yeah, I'm just satisfied. Look at where I am. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. I love you. Have a nice week, life, existence. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs>